what's going on guys welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC in this video I'm going to show you guys how to blur someone's face and also how to track the effect now the one great thing about this new feature in Premiere Pro is that we have masking and when you're masking something it allows you just to apply the effect in a certain area of the video it's similar to what you would use in After Effects but this one's just a little bit more limited but it's still a cool feature because if you're just trying to do something really quickly this is the effect for you so let's try out masking and the effect in Premiere Pro I'm going to type in mosaic and right here under stylize we have the mosaic. Now right away you might be familiar with this when you see someone's face is blurred it looks like tiles. We're going to select 20 for the horizontal and vertical blocks. And then right here is the new feature. We have an ellipse and also a polygon. Now with the polygon you can add or take away points and I'll show you really quickly but I'm not going to use this one but just to show you if you press control you can take away a point or you can start adding points and if you're familiar with Photoshop or Illustrator this allows you to just add points where you can create your own shape and that's pretty cool so let's get rid of this mask and let's add the ellipse now you can also rotate this and right here we're just going to increase the size of the mask now with the mask you can add the tracking so if the face is moving you can also have the effect follow that face and that's the point of this because you don't want to sit there adding all these keyframes just because you're adding one mask to someone's face so right here we can select this and it's going to track my face and now if you can see when I scroll on the timeline what's happening is that the mask is changing its size it's also changing the position and the rotation over here you have position, scale, and rotation, and that's exactly what the mask was doing. If you want, you can just set this to position or position and rotation. And then we also have other masking options such as feather, opacity, or expansion. With the feather, we can have it blend in with the background a little bit more. And with the opacity, you can lower the effect or increase it, and here we have it at 100%. And then with the mask expansion, you can actually have the effect go beyond the mask that you have set. So if I increase this, obviously you'll see the background gets the effect a little bit more and if you want to use a mask for any other effect all you have to do is come over here to the effects panel select an effect and you can use a mask for that so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial cheers